now Kappas, after our disciplinary hearing for lewd behavior last semester, we have been assigned a new house mom. I'd like you to meet Mrs. Stintzfire. Hello, girls! Whoa, whoa, don't drink that. I saw some guy slip something in there. What? Who? Um, that guy. Yeah, it's me. Do I know you? I'm Lorenzo von Matterhorn. Are you, like, famous or something? Yes. <laughs> you really don't know who I am, do you? What a refreshing change of face. Nice to meet you. Shelly. Shelly. Once again, I'm Lorenzo von Matterhorn. Spelled like it sounds, two T's. Lorenzo von Matterhorn. Ciao. Then, as soon as you're gone, she gets out her phone and does an internet search for Lorenzo von Matterhorn. And that's when she discovers a series of fake websites all devoted to the incredible life of Lorenzo von Matterhorn. There's the fake business article about Lorenzo, the reclusive billionaire, the fake Explorers Club newsletter describing his balloon trek to the North Pole as a feat of pure daring and imagination, the fake medical journal featuring the heartbreaking story of doctors telling him penis reduction surgery isn't an option. And by the time you get back... Hi, Shelly, uh, I hate to be forward, but can I buy you a cup of coffee? Yes, please. <laughs> What does coffee go for these days, $50? Oh, Lorenzo. <laughs> and it is on. Wow, you're an astronaut? Shh. I'm actually in a top secret government space program called Secret NASA, or SNASA. Wow, SNASA. Mm -hmm. Do you go to the moon and stuff? Well, not the moon you're familiar with, though I have been to the smoon. The smooth. <laughs> to perform the He's Not Coming, here's what you'll need. The observation deck of the Empire State Building. Are you up there? Good. For generations, this has been the spot New Yorkers have chosen for their romantic reunions with long estranged lovers. So all you have to do is walk up to every girl you see and say, He's not coming. What are you talking about? Never mind. <laughs> He's not coming. He's not coming. She's not coming? Sorry. Until sooner or later, he's not coming. He's not. But we agreed. We always said we'd meet here on this night. at the altar. <laughs> Step one, tell a meddlesome female friend about the playbook. Step two, run a play on one of her co-workers making her so angry she steals the playbook. Step three, put on the scuba suit and tell her you're going to do one more scam called the scuba diver on the hot girl standing by the bar. Your friend, let's call her Lily, goes and talks to the girl and tells her everything about the playbook. Now, here's where it gets tricky. When Lily and the girl ask what the scuba diver is, take off your mask, give them some spiel about your deep-seated insecurities, which don't really exist because, let's face it, you're awesome. Feeling bad for you, Lily talks you up to the girl who then agrees to go get coffee with you. And it is on. Hey. What do you want? Drop the act, baby doll. Di Wait, what? Are you gonna order a drink or are you just gonna stand there looking stupid? Um. I don't know how to make an um. Is that equal parts vodka and get the hell out of my face? <laughs> hey, Bobby! <laughs> I'm so sorry I misjudged you. If there's one type of person that I cannot stand, it is a man in a suit. Oh. That and a woman who has no respect for herself. Ugh. Yeah. Suits and insecure women. I hate them. Just hate them. I'm so sorry about your friend. Tell me about him. He was Italian. Classy, elegant. And boy, did he have a way with the ladies. They just couldn't say no. How old was he? Seven. 
<laughs> I miss him so much. You shouldn't be alone tonight. I'm gonna end my shift early. Thank you, old friend. You're going out with a bang. It all started a week ago. Jo I was making time at the local watering hole. Enter a day. Nothing sexier than a man in a fine cravat. Except for a woman who appreciates a fine cravat. How about we just call it a tie? <laughs> <laughs> I love to travel myself. Really? Mm. Where's the best place you visited? Hawaii is nice. A buddy of mine lives in Seattle. That's a good spot. But the best place, I'd have to say the moon. Hi, Neil Armstrong. No, you did not convince a girl you were the first man to walk on the moon. That happened seven years before you were born. Ted, baby doll, minor hurdle. Oh, yeah, well, our, our spaceship passed through a wormhole or some gamma rays or something. I started aging backwards, blah, blah, blah. So you work in a yogurt shop. That must be wild. Oh, it was completely terrifying. I just want to forget this ever happened and try to move on with my life. Oh, you poor thing. Neil? Neil. I... Neil. I... Neil! Lady, my name's not Neil. It's Bach. Bach, Bach. Why are you calling him Neil? Because that's his name. He's Neil Armstrong. The cyclist? I thought you were supposed to be on a shuttle mission. I thought you just got mugged. Okay, I can do this. Uh, uh, you see, I was on my way to the launch pad when I was mugged and the mugger took my space shuttle keys. Nailed it. Who's up for a three-way? I am. <laughs> Me too. Nailed it. Who's up for a three-way? <laughs> Lisa, wait. Yes, Neil? Oh, you're Lisa? Sarah, wait. <laughs> Look, I'm not Neil Armstrong. I'm sorry I lied. Well. I guess I wasn't completely honest with you either. I mean, I said that I was 28, but the truth is that I'm really 31. And first thing tomorrow, I'm getting rid of these suits. Really? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm.